hello everyone this is the fourth video of the video series and if you don't didn't watch my previous videos i highly recommend to watch the previous video to understand this video and if i quick give quick recap of previous video in the previous video i have shown that how actually cookie consent management platform cmp our case cookie bot is internally working actually first time when website is load it set up the default consent as well as is send the cookie consent banner this way and when user provide the consent then it update the consent this way and you will see your uh, google tag manager this is test as well as it also do another important thing that is it's also save the user provided consent information in br user browser so that it can use it for next time when visitor is going to the second page or when visitor is again visiting the website so that you can remember what uh, a consent user has given previously then it will collect that information and this is the next phase if we go to the next phase you see that this is the cookie uh, actually this cookie is not related to google analytics cookie or cookie or it is not related to ad related cookies actually this way this cookie consent banner cookie bot is actually keeping the information for next time use so it is saving this information and then actually if when it go to the next page that case is actually this here that case is actually again it said default consent as well as check uh, the cookie for uh, the user provided consent information and then when it actually collect the consent information from the local storage or cookies our case is cookie bot use cookies and then it collect the what consent user has given when first time he visited the page then it collect this information and instantly update the consent so for the next time actually the default consent and update consent happen one after another because this thing actually happening real time that case is it doesn't know any pop-up doesn't show any pop-up banner to customer to collect uh, the consent information because it uh, this is still it already saved uh, in customer browser and then update consent and finally actually this second page load actually update consent uh, happen uh, before the gtm script is start and, and as well as finally it also give the update consent data layer event once it update the consent this is the real thing and hope you are clear here and i have shown also code base how thing work when the website load it every time it uh, set the default consent then it check whether the consent information available in customer browser if it available it instantly update after default consent and if it doesn't available if it isn't available then it check uh, actually it show a pop-up banner to customer then it collect the consent information and update the consent and save the consent information in customer cookies so that it can use for next time page visit and this is the idea hope uh, you are very clear about it now today i will discuss about actually how we can configure our tag and other thing using this consent information before going to show that now we will discuss about our primary permission so again i am going back to my google tag manager and, and i am clearing everything as well as i am clearing the consent cookie so that it's uh, something like first time visitor visiting this website and we are expecting a pop-up banner here you see that right now we don't have any consent in any state we only had default consent set up by cookie bot and here and right now you see that we have couple of uh, permission related thing this is the preferences and the preferences is related to website functionalities it is not related to google analytics or google ads or any kind of marketing thing so we can keep this on and we can escape it actually from our discussion and this is this too is important this is for marketing if i allow this that means we are giving consent to uh, 
collecting information for marketing related thing as well as we are giving consent to store marketing related cookie in our browser and this is the statistic and this is for the google analytics right now if i allow this and allow selection and go back here this case is if i go anywhere after this consent setup we see that this case is the analytics storage is granted but other ad related thing is denied but if i clear thing again from here and if i reload it again and if i'm clearing everything from here also to show you clearly so again uh, it is showing this cookie consent banner right now if i didn't con give consent for a statistic and i'm giving consent for marketing this way and now if i click allow selection this case is if we come back here and check what actually happening in this case so we see that the ad storage granted add user data granted add personalization granted but analytics is denied now again i'm going back to my website and clearing everything and giving all of the consent and then i will discuss about every type of consent okay i am allowing it and right now if i check here everything is granted now if i going back to my slide you can check here so if at the beginning you see that add stories actually this is there is mainly two type of uh, permission this is add stories this is related to any kind of ad and if your customer give consent for ad storage that mean customer is giving consent for interacting with your cookie related to ad so that uh, your ad related tag can read and write cookie in the customer browser and another is statistic when analytics storage is granted that cases we are giving consent so that analytic related thing can collect information from customer browser as well as it can read and write cookie related to analytics in customer browser this is the analytic storage and there is another consent another two consent actually add user data actually this is related to if you allow if customer allow this that means customer is giving consent so that your ad related that means your google ad can use user data to making customer custom audience and the ad personalization is related to retargeting ad that means when customer is giving this consent that's when customer is giving permission to in, interact with the cookie for retargeting ad so hope you are clear and right now if you look here this is the marketing and if we check our cookie consent banner by clicking here i am appear i am bringing it back and you see that when we are giving consent for marketing only one selection is here and it is actually giving all three it is actually making all three granted that means we don't need to give separately for these three consent once we giving consent for marketing then it will actually allowing grant actually it will actually updating all three uh, consent that's mean add storage add user data add personalization is coming from this marketing once this allow as that cases actually cookie board or any other cmp allowing all three here all three are granted you see here and once we are giving consent for a statistic that cases actually it is giving uh, sending the status as granted for analytics so hope you are clear here so marketing uh, related consent is add storage as well as other two all three are actually enabling or disabling by user content consent from once a pop-up button in the in the front end consent banner and this also coming from the stories like this one so hope you are clear here now let's discuss about our 
GDPR compliant and consent mode. This term is very popular right now. Actually, GDPR compliance is a European Union compliance. In the before, there was two type of consent. That means that was ad storage and analytics in storage. But right now, GDPR compliance uh, actually requiring two other additional consent. That means add user data, add personalized data. These two was actually was not required in previous, but after GDPR compliance update, those two also require with our add consent. That means when add storage is allowed, we also add storage is granted we also need to actually get consent from our customer about as you data add personalization data but actually we saw that add storage add user data and add personalization all three are actually enabling by one selection button in the cookie consent pop-up so actually this is the gdpr compliance new rule consent mode version 2 is actually this uh, consent mode user need to send two new parameter in addition to add storage and analytics history that means we uh, need to insert these two consent parameter but luckily cookie consent banner is handling all three for us in a one single button that means add storage, add user data, add personalization. If you go to this link, you, will, you can learn more about this related thing so that we can say that cookie consent version mode version two is consent about five things. One is add storage, what is one is analytic storage, as well as additional two is add user data and add personalization. Those two things is newly added in consent mode version two to meet all of the requirement of gdpr compliance hope you are clear here now we will discuss about implementation of our tag 